To identify a specimen of Jutland's regia, I'd look for the following features. The pale grey bark, initially smooth, but as the tree matures, breaking into very chunky and deeply fissured plates. This species is monoecious, so bearing male and female flowers as separate structures. The male flowers are pale green catkins, over three inches long at most, emerging with the leaves in April. The female flowers are small, light green, hirsute, and have a pair of very noticeably feathery stigma emerging from them. And the female flowers then develop into the smooth green drupaceous nut that this species is known for. The form of the tree is relatively broad, open crowned, typically reaching a height of about 15 to 18 metres. The compound leaves are borne alternately on the spray of foliage. And the imparapinate leaves, typically with five to seven leaflets, each leaflet elliptical to ovate with an entire margin, mid-green in colour. In the winter, the rather thick twigged nature of the crown may lead you to suspect that the tree is a walnut, marked with also with the light grey bark. But looking closer, the alternate winter buds uh, have a noticeable leaf scar, which, viewed from the right direction, looks like a smiley face, which is very helpful in the recognition of this tree. Also, if unsure, one can cut down the twig and look at the central pith and the pith will be chambered to divide into a set of number of chambers and this is very distinctive of the family Juglandaceae.